What's up, everybody? It is your girl, Glenda, and you are back with another episode of What You're Cooking, Glenda. If you would like to be part of the G-Squad, all you have to do is click that subscribe button. Make sure that you hit the notification bell so that you're updated every time we upload a new video. Now, you see it. On to this video, we have an HEB grocery haul, okay? Let's start from... Y'all, this video is probably going to be combined into two, into one video. It's going to be an HEB uh, grocery haul and then a Kroger's grocery haul because we also have a Kroger's um, order that's going to be delivered here in just a few minutes. So let's get through this one and then we can get to the next one. Starting over here to the left, we've got some honey made um, graham crackers, the family size. I'm skipping this because this is not part of this order. I picked up a watermelon a while back. And we got some rotisserie seasoned chicken breast to make sandwiches. The per peppered turkey breast as well as the mesquite smoked turkey breast. All, all to make sandwiches or put in salads or whatever. We got some ground turkey. We have two of those that we... Um, picked up as well as some easy melt cheese. This is same thing as like Velveeta, but H-E-B brand um, Then we'll go back here. I Have some um, bar uh, some I often say Bartoli some Sartori classic um, Shredded Parmesan cheese. This is gonna be um, for some mac and cheese that we're gonna make for Sunday I've picked up two of these breakfast links, the kielbasa breakfast links. So, so good. If you have not tried them, um, if you don't have an HEB that has them, sometimes, well, a lot of times, Sam's carries them as well as um, Walmart carries them. And then we have two of these Texas Heritage sausages, beef sausages, just for, you know, we want a piece of sausage or something to snack on. And then up under here, I have another um, made in Texas beef smoked sausage. This is going to be for the um, cabbage that we're going to do for Sunday's meal. Staying with the back back here. Somehow, I got two of these folders. I got to look back at my order because I, my fingers probably hit the thing twice and got two Folgers coffee. That's fine because I didn't have any. Moving forward, let's see what we got. Let's go with um, some ground chuck. I should have two of these. I thought I had two of these. Maybe I only have one. This is what I should have hit two and not the coffee. Um, we also have some Grand's buttermilk biscuits. If you and there's a 12 count, if you guys haven't tried these. They really do just make things easier. You can just pop these right out of this bag and onto the pan. And they come out, to me, better than the can. And then we also have the Southern Style Biscuits as well. This one's a 20 count. Now, one thing new that my grocery store is doing, I was getting catfish, right? And so they were selling it like on the app, $4 and like 14 cents each so I was always like getting like just $30 worth or whatever so now they have started putting it in one of the meat trays I know I'm making a mess over here let me see start putting them in a meat tray so look at that one two three four five there's another up under here it's like six yeah, there is a six. There's either six to seven catfish fillets in here, y'all. And I picked up three of these packages because um, it's also going to probably be for Sunday, depending on how I feel. So there's one package there. Here is another pack. And I'm kind of pulling these out to count them with y'all. So one, there's another up under there. That's two, three, four, five. And that's six. So this one has six. And here's the third pack. Let's see. One, two, 
There's another up under there. Three, four, five, six, and then there's seven. I feel like there's another. So this has either seven to eight um, in this one as well. So that's not bad. That's not bad. I think I appreciate them doing it this way rather than the other. And they're still fresh. They're still fresh from the meat market section of the grocery store. All right, moving on. We got some ballpark beef, fun size hot dogs, a couple of bell peppers, green bell peppers. And back here we also have two of the um, flank steak strips. That's what that looks like. Stir fries. You know, y'all seen me use this on the channel before. If you're not, you have to go back and look at those. Catch that video or maybe hit the iCard to get one of one of these recipes that I use with the flank steak. Back here, I got some honey roasted pecan pieces for salads. Um, some one pack of original taco sauce. Did we already have some of this? I don't know. Okay. And then two meatloaf seasonings, because sometimes shortcuts are what they are, shortcuts. Um, 10 pound bag of sugar. Coming back forward here um, to a couple of cabbages. This is gonna be for tomorrow's um, Sunday dinner. We got two cabbages, okay. Um, a pack of cookies. I feel like I'm missing some cookies. I, I feel like I, I'm missing some cookies. I wouldn't have just bought one, but maybe I did. Who knows? All right, back here, we got some hearts of romaine because I mixed this with um, my salad, with like my salad blend. We got two of these broccoli blend stir fries. That's one. There's two up under that. I don't know if they can see the 50-50 blend of the spinach and spring mix. That's what I mixed this part of romaine's with. Mix that together and have a grand salad. Um, some fajita vegetables. That's a blend as well as broccoli, carrots, and water chestnuts. We have two of these. Um, up here, we got a 20 pack of hash brown patties. All right. Um, an English cucumber or a seedless cucumber for my salads. Some white wings tortilla. Y'all, when we make tortillas, let me see, do I have a package of them over there? I do. When my, I'm gonna say when my mother makes tortillas, she uses the white wings mix. <coughs> Excuse me. Which I have a bag of it over there as well. But this is the closest thing that I can ever find to homemade tortillas because they're by white wings so if you have white wings try them in, from your grocery store also have some Fritos bean dip to go with these Fritos scoops back here good snacking for me anyway um can you come over here Kurt so they can see We got two of these sweet potatoes. Cause who's gonna be cutting up sweet potatoes? Not me. And this is gonna be for Sunday's meal as well. We have macaroni and cheese on the menu and Curtis doesn't eat macaroni and cheese so I was substituting. And got two bags of those. We got some tartar sauce, Louisiana tartar sauce. Two of those for our fish. We need more breadcrumbs. I always get the Italian style breadcrumbs. So we have two of those right here. One thing that was new that I saw when I was getting some soy sauce, because we ran out of soy sauce. So here's one. But I also saw this sweet soy glaze. I'm interested to see what this tastes like. It says, great for grilling, roasting, and dipping. Move beyond ordinary to extraordinary. So I'm really interested to see like what this tastes like. I bet you it's really good. What you think? Sweet soy glaze. All right, so then we have 
three boxes of Louisiana fish fry already seasoned up right here. I normally take this and I mix it y'all with um, my Quaker cornmeal. Um, sometimes this can tend to be too salty out of the box and um, a good friend of mine uh, gave me the suggestion to mix it with this particular brand of cornmeal and it just really balances it out. So we have two of these cornmeals right here. Mama, if you watching, don't make no cornbread with my cornmeal. This is not for that. Okay, I got some different cornmeal for you to make cornbread with. <laughs> All right, so going back here, we've got some honey bunches of oats right here. Um, I have um, some half a gallon of whole milk for my macaroni and cheese, a gallon of 2% for cereal, and some heavy cream back here, as well as some International Delight Hazelnut uh, Coffee Creamer for my coffee in the mornings. And I also have the Caramel Macchiato as well for my coffee in the mornings, and a couple of cans of Rotel. Um, some bacon bits for our salads or baked potatoes, whichever, and pecans and cranberries, also for salads. A couple of cans of Wolf Brand Chili. I already told y'all about the cornmeal. Some more Smart Balance back here, as well as some more sour cream. Brown sugar. Make sure not, I don't run out. Another bottle of ranch. Some corn tortillas that I'm really not happy about because they keep putting things on my corn tortillas that break them. And so back here, I don't know if y'all can see, but they're split. A few of them are split back here. I hope it's only like these last couple and not like, you know, 10 or nothing like that because I might be taking that back to the store. Who knows? And then we have our elbow macaroni for our macaroni and cheese for Sunday. And then down here, a 36 count of eggs. Did I get everything? Y'all, this was a long grocery haul. But like I said, it's going to get a, just a little longer because um, right after this, this is the HEB grocery haul. So after this, you are going to be seeing the Kroger's grocery haul. So... Stay tuned and we'll be right back for the Kroger's grocery haul. Gotta put all this up. Be right back. All right, y'all, so we are back. And the first part of this video was the HEB grocery haul. So the second part, as promised, is the Kroger's grocery haul. Not that many items, but I will say that these are the items that HEB had, but were too expensive. So, sometimes shopping around will do you a little bit of good, okay? So, I did, the items that I found here, either HEB did not have or they were too expensive. So, let's get started on this portion of the video, which is called Kroger's. All right, so um, y'all know from looking at our other videos that we always get chips for snacks, for to eat with our sandwiches and so on and so forth. So this time, HEB's um, Lay's potato chips were considerably more expensive and Kroger's had theirs on sale. So we have barbecue, sour cream and onion as well as the cheddar and sour cream, all party size. And then the plain Lay's back there, cause who don't love just the plain Lay's. And then also back here, y'all saw hash browns on the first part of this. These are the seasoned hash browns, um, hash brown patties, I should say. And these are actually very good. I've ordered them before and we decided to, I decided to go ahead and get them again. So we are good on the hash brown patties because we have a 20 pack from HEB. Um, also grabbed two 
of these uh, butter, salted butters. I don't know why I couldn't get that out. Four sticks are in each one. Then we've got our giant size boxes of um, Fruit Loops, which were again on sale here at, uh, at Kroger's versus HEB. And then back here, I have um, a giant size of the Frosted Flakes. And I want to say these were like four something, y'all, versus whatever their normal price is. Daniela, y'all know Titi girl, she loves her blueberries and her strawberries, so we grabbed a pint of blueberries for her. H-E-B did not have any cherries, and I have been wanting some cherries. They had them on sale at H-E-B, however, they have been out for a while because they're on sale like at $2.99 a pound, which is excellent. So y'all look, oh, I can't wait. I already tried one, y'all, so... They're absolutely delicious. Absolutely. Now, back, well, let's start right here. This is my peppers. I got a red, yellow, and orange bell pepper. Um, I'm going to use these, uh, probably half of each, to go in my cabbage along with some green bell pepper to go in my cabbage, or maybe like a quarter of each one of these to go in my cabbage and sausage dish, dish for tomorrow, which will be prepped today for tomorrow. Then back here, I'm going to move my cheeses over some. Back here, we've got the thin crust DiGiorno for meat pizza. And then we have the three meat, but this one is the croissant crust. Y'all see that? Buttery and flaky croissant crust. We actually, I actually asked for the original DiGiorno. They didn't have any, and so we substituted it with this croissant crust. And I was like, that's good, because we haven't ever tried it. And it may be something that we like and get from now on. Okay, from our macaroni and cheese, we've got two of these sharp, uh, sharp cheddars. I actually ordered a shredded Gouda from HEB, but they were out of stock. So um, I won't have any Gouda cheese to go in my macaroni this time. Some mild cheddar, picked up two of those, as well as two of the Kobe Jacks, okay? And then, um, what else? Was that it, Curtis? The last thing we grabbed was some Fabuloso, the antibacterial multi-purpose cleaner, Fabuloso. And this was actually on sale too. Y'all, so I'm gonna tell y'all, we, we didn't get that many items, but on a normal basis, these items would have been 80 to 90 something dollars. And we had, um, I think I had $19 worth of coupons for these items. So don't sleep on Kroger's if you have a Kroger delivery service or a Kroger's in your neighborhood that um, you attend. They have some very good coupons. I will say their coupons are better than my local HEB um, coupons. So if you have the app um, they and you're new to the app, they offer $15 off of your first three deliveries. So again, do not sleep on Kroger's, y'all. Kroger's, I said Kroger's. Kroger's, because they do have some really good deals. So this is the end of our grocery haul for eight from HEB and from Kroger's. If you would like to see more videos like this, what did I say? I said something wrong again? Kroger. I said from HEB and Kroger's. Kroger, not Kroger's. Oh, Lord, he is acting like me, correcting me. Okay, where is the, uh, find me, okay, from H-E-B and Kroger. Okay, Kroger. Is that good? You good? Okay, from H-E-B and Kroger. Hello everybody, it is me Curtis from What You Cook in Glenda and you're watching another episode of What You Cook in Glenda. If you would like to be part of the G-Squad, all you have to do is click that subscribe button. Make sure you hit the notification bell so that you're notified every time we upload a sanctified video. Now, on today's video, we have a different scenery. 
Okay, we're out here in the garage. Um, Pops, he put away all of the groceries. It was supposed to be a trunk haul, but he put away all the groceries before we could get to the trunk haul. So we're going to call this a garage haul. All right, so this is our Sam's uh, Make Ends Meet garage haul so we have some paper plates right here some ultra paper plates got those at sam's 204 plates we needed some plates y'all we needed some plates uh we got some toilet paper praise god that the toilet paper is filling the shelves again praise jesus because y'all know y'all know what happened during covid when people was just you know what i'm gonna steal all the toilet paper and all the paper towels and have no remorse about it uh, it was just a mess then you have some paper towels praise god that ooh, praise god that he has allowed for the paper towels to fill the shelves again yes we got two big packs of those and then over here, we needed to restock on our uh, foil pens. We needed some half sheet foil pens and some full sheet foil pens. And guess what, y'all? That is our Sam's Make Ends Meet Garage Haul. I hope you have enjoyed this video and I hope that you will come back for more. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And we will see you next time on another episode of What You Cook and Glenda. Bye.